she kind of looks like Valentine's Day, like personified in a doll. Oh my God, Kaya Hart, she's coming for your gig. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I am doing another Rainbow High video. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might see that um, I do a lot of doll hunting on my Instagram stories instead of like making a full blown video about it. Because a lot of times when I go doll hunting, I go to one store and that's it. <laughs> I don't go like around. So that's why my doll hunting videos on YouTube aren't super common. Um, but yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I always leave my social media handles in the description of each of my videos. So it is down there. It's just at Chad Marvelous. So if you want to check me out on Instagram, you know, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, but not yet. Stay here. Watch this video. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I've got, uh, what's her name? I, I always forget her name. Daria Roslin. So we've got Daria and she is like the rose colored rainbow high doll from series three. I want to say question mark. Go up to a higher octave while I'm, you know, d guessing and what it doesn't even say. What? It, yeah, series three. It, where does it? It doesn't say on here, but I remember that um, Emmy is from series three and I have Emmy. So, um, yeah, anyway, this was the other girl that I really liked from series three. Um, and like with Rainbow High, I just can't afford to get all of them. I did the math the other day and on average, if like every doll is around like 27 to $30, like, like just say $30, even though I know a lot of the dolls are more expensive than that. If every doll was $30 and you just count up all the dolls, it was like around $2,000 to <laughs> to have every character. Um, that math is not exact because some dolls are more expensive, some dolls are less expensive, and I probably didn't, like I might have forgotten a couple dolls when I counted that up. So it's just like really expensive to collect all of them. MGA has been pumping these out like crazy. That being said, I'm pretty much just going with like my favorites. So as I see them, and, and a lot of times I have to see them in person, to like really get to like them um, but this is one of the girls that I really like I especially love her color scheme and uh, yeah I'm just I'm obsessed so on the back you have the picture of all the other characters from series three um, and down here it says something like welcome to rainbow high yeah welcome to rainbow high the colorful school full of bold fashion and even bolder drama Ooh, I mean the drama is really not that crazy I've been watching the TV I've been watching the webisodes and it's like, I mean, there's a little bit of drama here and there, but it's a kid's show. <laughs> I dealt with a lot worse in high school. So Daria is a music focus. So that's actually kind of cool. I, I don't know if any of the other girls that I have are a music focus other than uh, Poppy, maybe. But let me get her out of the box really quick because I want to take a look at her. And then uh, we can also take a look at her second outfit and everything. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and she is out of the box. But before we take a look at the doll, let's take a look at the accessories because I always forget if I don't show you first. So she comes with a stand, a matching comb, hangers, and they're two different colors. Although you can't, can you tell that they're two different colors? On camera, on the little viewfinder, it looks different. They're very different colors. But anyway, yeah, so hangers. Second outfit and second pair of shoes. And she also comes with this really cute handbag and it's like a fabric handbag that actually opens and you can like put stuff in. Like how cool is that? This is but this is the like the best Rainbow High purse that I've seen so far. Maybe I don't know if it's the best necessarily, but it's my favorite. <laughs> I think it's super cute. And then of course later in the video I will be trying on her second outfit on her so we can see what she looks like in it. Um, but for now let's go ahead and take a look at the doll. So here is Daria. I think she is so pretty. I love her colors. Like the combination of this like pink hair, this like rosy pink hair, and like these eyes. Look at the color of these eyes. I love this. You've got like this like mint green or like turquoise color eye with a little bit of pink on the inside. So pretty. And then I think they did a really good job at like choosing colors for her makeup. She's kind of got this like, I don't know, pinkish smoky eye and then like a berry pink or almost like a purpley pink kind of lipstick. 
She is so pretty. When I was at Target and I saw her on the shelf, um, I looked around at the different dolls and she was the one that had my favorite face, the way the face paint was, and I thought she was so pretty and I'm really happy with her for that, but her hair is messy. <laughs> I couldn't find one that had like both perfect hair and perfect makeup. I did find one that had the perfect hair, but like her, um, the alignment for her f uh, face makeup was off and smudged on the left side. So I didn't get her. I got the one that had the better face because I can fix the hair. Um, speaking of which, <laughs> since she's like displayed in the box like this, when you turn her around, her hair is like split down the middle. And like, I think it's funny because sometimes like in reviews or even like on some of the Facebook groups and pictures, people will show something like this and be like, she's bald. And it's like, I mean, yes, you you can very clearly see the scalp, but like she's not bald. The rooting is very even. It's just because it's split so well right here that you're able to see very clearly the scalp. She's not bald. This is even rooting and she has very thick hair, which is nice. Um, but I am definitely going to fix this so that way, usually if it's meant to be parted all the way back, like when they had pigtails, then they continue the part line all the way down. And that's the only reason you can really see the scalp back there. Um, but once I wash the hair out, that's not going to be an issue. I'm probably also going to have to redo this ponytail because like that's looking messy. <laughs> Just saying. So she does not come with earrings, but she does have holes in her ears where you can put earrings and which is, I think is interesting. I wonder if she's supposed to come with earrings and maybe mine just didn't. Like, let me know in the comments, is she supposed to come with earrings? Because um, usually the dolls, the Rainbow High dolls that I have that don't come with earrings, their ears are not pierced. So since hers are, that makes me think that maybe mine is missing her earrings or something. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you happen to know. Now, I really like her first outfit. I just like the casual like denim jackets and I f love the fact that it's two-toned like this. I don't know why. It's, it's not like I've, you know, sought out after like two-tone clothing or anything like that, but I see it and I'm, you know, it's on her. I really, really like it. It just looks really good. And I love all of like the roses everywhere. So pretty. I really like the style. Underneath, she's living her 90s fantasy with her like really cute little slip dress that says magic over and over in this kind of diamond pattern. And and underneath she's got this t-shirt. Oh, it's what's printed on the t-shirt. Oh, nothing. Okay. It's just a white t-shirt. Um, but that's, that's lace at the top. So this dress is very like posh spice, <laughs> you know, it's like a little Gucci dress with the lace detailing. And then she's got her shoes, which kind of remind me of Skylar's first wave shoes. Cause she has like these socks with roses printed on them. And then you've got the boots with the rose details that are on them. The only thing I don't like about the boots is this like weird, like, like faded yellow color of the plastic underneath. Like the rest of it's painted so nicely. And then this is like a really like dirty yellow color. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like the plastic was clear at one point, but then it was left out in the sun and then the sun like, you know, altered it and like made it look burnt or something like that. I don't know. I'm tempted to paint over that because I don't like that, but I do like the translucency of it. So I don't know. And then here's a better look at her socks that have like the roses all over them. Okay, really quick. I'm going to get her changed into her second outfit and I'll be right back. All right. So while I'm taking her first outfit off, I just wanted to show you that this dress is actually two layers. You've got the black under layer and then the outer layer is actually kind of see-through that has this like metallic uh, pattern on it. Um, but I also wanted to show you that it did kind of stain the material. I don't know if this is vinyl or what, but uh, anyway, whatever this material is, it did kind of stain on her upper thigh, not on the lower part down here. This is a harder plastic, but this is a softer plastic and that stained. So um, it happens. It is what it is. It's black material on a Playline doll. So I'm not mad at it, but I just wanted to point it out because that was my experience. All right, so here she is in her second look. And honestly, I don't know which one I like better. I think I like the first look a little bit better, uh, but it's really, really close because I love this look too. So she's kind of got like a business suit kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but I love all of the roses all over it. They are actually embroidered on, uh, which actually kind of made getting the arms through the sleeves a little difficult because the armholes kept getting like snagged on the inside of the embroidery because these are like fully embroidered front and back. Okay, some of these have like a little loose thread there. That's bugging me. I'm gonna fix that right real quick. <laughs> 
There we go. It's nothing that, you know, some cuticle scissors can't fix. <laughs> But I love this. It's got like the little rivet buttons or whatever those are. And then like some embroidered safety pins there to make it a little edgy. Cause you know, they didn't want to make it too business-like. <laughs> so I don't know. I, now that I've got it on her, I almost like this outfit better. And I like that her bag matches. It's so cute with its little roses on there. And then of course, moving down to her shoes, you've got something that Briar Beauty would be jealous of. <laughs> These are really cute. Look at the little gold roses as the heel. I love that. Now, of course, these are these stupid ankle strap um, heels that Rainbow High likes to do. And the ankle strap is so tight that it doesn't go over the heel. And in my experience, I've actually broken Rainbow High shoes, like the straps on the shoes, in bad places before because of this. And it makes me mad. So what I do is I just cut like a little slit in the back. So it's really easy to take the shoe off and put it on uh, without struggling with it. The only issue is these particular shoes are a little on the loose side. So like the shoes are kind of like falling down. I really wish that Rainbow High would do something about that. Like make the straps just like a millimeter wider, just so like the straps will fit over the stupid heel. <laughs> I don't know. And I have heard some people will heat up the shoes, like with a hair dryer or something like that. They'll warm up the, the plastic of the shoes first and then put the shoes on. Maybe I should have tried that before cutting the slit down the back, but I, it's what it is. <laughs> I love that she's like all pink and has the roses. She kind of looks like Valentine's Day, like personified in a doll. Oh my God, Kaya Hart, she's coming for your gig. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Kaya's outfit would actually look super cute on her. Like the second one, the Mariah Carey look, I think would actually look really cute on her. And I think I'm... I might try that. I don't know. I'll do that later. <laughs> anyway, I really like her. I think that like the colors that they chose for her, like the deep tone of her complexion with like the color of her hair and these like piercing turquoise eyes. So cute. I, I, I really, really like her. There is a little bit of gel on the curls in the front, but the rest of the hair doesn't really have any gel in it. Um, but you know, like the back does need a little bit of help. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go wash her hair and probably like redo this ponytail so it doesn't look as messy. Um, but I mean, it's not anything I haven't done before. I do have a video on my channel of how I wash Rainbow High Doll's hair and like restyle them and like the way that I let it dry so it doesn't turn out frizzy or poofy. If you want to see that video, I will put it up in the iCards and it'll probably show up at the end of this video on the little cards that come up on the screen as well. Um, but yeah, I've got like a whole like walkthrough showing how I do that. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Let me know what you think of Daria down in the comments down below. I'm going to go get lunch because it is that time of the day and I am hungry. Um, but I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.